Right. We let off there on the side of a hill, just because I think we are climbing down it. Oh, hello. So, we're going to go to this Vatican, go back to the Mage's Guild, hand this quest in, and while I'm there, I'm going to enchant the last armor piece to be Chameleon 5%, to take me all the way up to 100%. At that point, I'm going to come OP as shite. I'll just obliterate all foes with sneak attacks. Oh god. I won't even need poisons anymore at that point, it'll just be stabby stabby, stabby stabby, stabby stabby, stabby stabby. And I've got all these arrows that are just kill bots. 100% chameleon is basically invisibility, but it never runs out. Just in case you're wondering why I want it so bad. So you can just stabby stabby, stabby stabby, stabby stabby, stabby stabby, 100% chameleon. You sh it should be outlawed. But I don't want it outlawed because I like it. Oh, that shit you have to put up with, you know, in oblivion. You can ignore it all as soon as you get this chameleon suit, and you're just like, yeah, can't see me, fuck you. I mean, look, that's me there. Can you see me? If you look really closely, you can see the distortions on the rock. That is me. <laughs> Virtually nothing will see you when you're 100% chameleon. So he's this way. Yeah, you could probably just cast spells in front of somebody and you still wouldn't get seen because you're chameleoned. Right up. You have business here? Don't tell me Jarl sent you. Yes. Erlov sent you, did he? Figures. He can't be bothered to come check on his own project, so he sends someone who knows nothing about it. And this is supposed to help? Um... No offense to you, friend. It's not your fault. And perhaps you can help. If you can figure out how to use the pillar, I'd be thrilled. You're welcome to try your hand at it. The pillar? That's what we're calling it, only because we don't know what it really is. Or was. It's magical. We know that much. Enchanted somehow. We think it's a lock of some sort, but haven't been able to figure out how it works. All I can say for sure is that it reacts to magic badly most of the time. Several mages were hurt attempting to cast spells at it. It's at the bottom of the runes, if you wish to try your luck. Be careful, though. It could be quite hazardous to your health. Best to play it safe. No complex magic. Stick to basic spells with single effects. It's not worth taking unnecessary risks. Okay. What a waste of my talents. Too fast I move as well.
This is in case you don't have the spells you need to do the job. Crying out loud. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Um. Have a common soul gem? Come on, what else do I need to give you? This soul gem? Finally. Sent you in to try your hand at the thing, have they? Yeah. What about the pillow? Can you tell me? I don't know how much Scalil told you. We know that it reacts to magic, but every time we've tried, the thing shocks whomever cast the spell. It hasn't been fatal for anyone yet, but we stopped trying after the first few attempts. I can tell you, it really hurts. The only thing we haven't figured out is the markings. You see them on the walls? They must relate to the pillar, but I don't know how. Okay. If we had some sort of reference, something to compare them to, we might be able to decipher them. But we lack anything like that. Scalil might have a book that would be useful, but she's been skulking over the way Erlov's been treating her. Perhaps you could ask her for it. Take care. Okay, okay. That means I get to use the charm spell. If there's any, all right. You're a big. Word. I'm not. I won't fight you. I, I, don't be silly. I won't fight you. That's a bit excessive, don't I, I, that, You're full of it. You're, I like that. You're good. I don't know why Dental is even trying. This is doomed to fail. But fine. If he wants it, he can have it. It's just one more thing I'll get blamed for in the end. Oh, don't worry. I'll make sure it's all What a waste of my talents. You don't be better if you stop fucking whining. Thank God that never fucking weighed me down. Be careful in here. Have my lag animus? Is that from life fire? From fire life. So if I cast a fire spell at it, just as a reference. Huh? Oh, athletics. Join with athletics. Right, from fire life. Have Mafra Nagia.
has not in the Iliad reference text whatsoever. Magica Loria 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 Fortify Magicka, I believe that is. Or is it Seba Magicka? Magicka Celia. Four or five magic guns. Say if I magic I used to think you. You got the book, eh? I'll tell you what. I'll take the book and then. Okay. It means magicka darkens. Considering the other, perhaps a spell that damage. It means if. Mafre seems to translate to frost. So a spell with frost damage should work for it. And it okay. This is kind of... So, frost damage. That awesome. He didn't even see me until I whacked him. Once I get the last bit of the armor set, he just won't even see me at all. And armor becomes a bit pointless at that point, but you know. Sneaky, sneaky.
I'm virtually invisible just now until I get the seat. At which point they can target me then. But I can always just invisibility my way out of it. Oh yeah, I've got all those potions of healing that I gotta get rid of. Probably best not to pick up any more just now. <laughs> See, I've got a high sneak skill and I've also got nearly 95%, so it's not easy for them to see me. I'm just a whisper in the wind just now. And I've been playing very heavy shield blocking just now, and now I'm going to probably go into sneak mode since I can't be seen. I'll get a skeleton key spell just just to do the job. Right, I doubt it's going to be you activated from something that's in a different cell altogether. It is possible to do that, but no, I think they'll go for the option of Something about here will trigger it. There we go. Fucking witch. Oh, this will be the Bloodworm Helm or something like Fucking witches. Right, found it. What? Can't tell you, can't tell Skalil up here and let her take the credit for it. So she'll stop being such a bitch all the time. What's that you have there? That looks important, whatever it is. I think you've really found something. You'd best get that to Erlov back at the Imperial City as soon as possible. He'll want the mages there to examine it more closely. What a waste of my talents. I don't think I'll actually need the invisibility spell anymore because once I get this up to 100% chameleon, I am invised permanently. And I won't need. Yeah. 
See that cost less to fucking it the same. So I want to put that one now. I mean, that four and six can be. Yeah, the money, money, money spell. I won't be needing. So I'll just use the chameleon to close all the bloody gates I come across now on. But yeah, I won't be needing health much. I won't be needing the invisibility, because I'll be invisible permanently. So I'll take them off and I'll use, start using this rage spell to kill people. Just rage people and watch them kill each other. That'd be nice. It'll certainly come in handy if I go to this contract for the Dark World. It's if I can just walk right through completely invisible without having to worry about sneaking. That will be awesome. Because currently, as it stands, 95% chameleon with a high level sneak. There's not much that will be able to see me. Apart from scripted little liches like that that will see you automatically. And the alteration doesn't do much for me right now, but in Skyrim it'll be a bit more useful. Don't worry. I've picked spells. I've picked these things, like I said, to do me across all the games. Not just Morrowind, not just Oblivion, not just Skyrim. These skills are general spell skills that will give me something useful in each game. In Skyrim, all of them are fucking useful though. There is a shock. Did I reflect the spell or something? Is that what happened? I just reflected the spell back at him. Ah! 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 Sucker! And these brown bears, they're going to get a come up, come up and when I get my 100 million armor. I'm just going to sneak up and stab them in the arsey god. Just just, just for revenge. Right. Ugh. I've almost got my armor. I've almost got my armor. We're ending on me getting that armor set. Hello, doggy. Almost there. Two and a half hours, man. That's what I've been recording for. With me, two and a half hours is just barely a PlayStation and Oblivion. Mind you, that was back when I was out of work and I didn't have much to do all day, so I was playing all day long, all day long. Just yeah, I've put lots of hours in this game, despite the shitey combat. My I mean, was always a sneaky archer, so never played the sneaky dagger type unless I had a full set of armor. Ah, you must be the Arcane University's newest addition. This humble battle may be you well.
What's this? Some sort of alien artifact? Well, well. Romanus was right in sending you out there. <laughs> good work. I'll be sure and put in a good word for you. Good work getting that straightened out. I'm glad someone finally came along that was able to make progress with it. You too. Good work at Vatican. Jorol is quite pleased with the information now coming in about the site. There is another predicament, which I believe you can also help resolve, if you feel ready for it. Sure, whatever. Excellent. You have become most reliable, and I assure you that the Council appreciates it. Now, to the matter at hand. In order to deal with the apparent growing problem of necromancers in Cyrodiil, the Council needs as much information as possible. The Mystic Archives have been consulted with minimal success. Guild members are investigating other avenues, but I believe more can be learned here. Uh, what do I need to do? I'd like you to speak with Tarmina at the Mystic Archives. She is our specialist on Magica Arcana and has been helping gather information. I believe we have been asking her the wrong questions, taxing her too much with vague attempts to make sense of all that we know. Speak with her specifically about these black soul gems, if she knows anything about their powers or creation. An insight into their origins may lead us to those who are responsible for them. Okay, okay. What can I interest you in? Mm, don't need. Don't need. Could be useful, but I won't need it. I'll have a different spell for that. So he's got all high level spells. I don't think any of my skills are good enough for them yet. You become more valuable to the guild with each passing day. The guild wishes to reward that, and so you are raised to the rank of conjurer. <gasps> Accept these robes and wear them with pride. Oh shit, you mean wear me down, aren't you? You become more valuable. Report back as soon as you can. Motherfucker. Um. Hi there. All right. So what did you just give me? Empower, Wolper, Intelligence, Conjuration, Destruction, and Self. Yes. I don't want Hello that. Mr. Karka is no, I want. Enchanting. Greetings. Afternoon. Nope. Or end. Oh, while well, I'm here, I can make a spell for. Welcome. Right, get my alteration 75 and I can start using that. Fucker. Have I got a store attribute? No. Please don't be shy. I'm listening. Hi there. Ah, man. It's my pleasure. Farewell. Oh, 
does me Now I should be 100% chameleon. Good day. Take. I know, like Morrowind, they don't just start saying, "Oh, who's there? Who's there? Who's there?" As far as I remember. All right. I got our spell, and next week we shall go see Tarmina about this. Like Soul Gems Menace. This is yes, I got a hundred million. And, and I also go deal with this guy in the fort, such. Where there's also a gate there that was supposed to be something bigger, but content got cut. Whatever. So I'll see you all next week. Because I got 100% chameleon. Yes. Yes. Yes, 100% chameleon. 100% chameleon. I can go steal things in front of people, nobody will notice. Look, hi, hi, I'm sneaking in front of you. I'm sneaking in front of you. You can't see me because I'm hungry. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching. See you all next week. Bye bye.